There was a new batch of uh, Clinton-related emails uh, that came about during her time as Secretary of State. Now, we looked through those emails. A lot of journalists are. A lot of people are, have been doing it, as they have been for several months now. Uh, and we came across some traffic tickets. And you know, we wanted to figure out, well, you know, did the secretary or her daughter or Bill get a traffic ticket? But when we started examining it more closely, we noticed that it came from New York City, but it said to just pay money to some place in upstate New York. So that didn't make sense. Uh, when the AP went through them, we found at least five of them that had come, that had had a, uh, a file attachment indicating that it was a virus. We looked into the origins of that, we looked into what researchers have said about the virus, and that that's where it traced back to a possible Russian link server. What you do know is, is that, that they had her email address. It was an email address that was largely secretive, unless it was among certain people, which shows that she had either given the email address out, somebody had gotten it some other way. So this email address had been floating out somewhere where hackers were able to get it and then put that as part of this uh, phishing scam that, you know, frankly tied up nicely because she is a New York State resident or was at the time that this happened. This raises concerns about her using a private server in her house. There have been questions that have been raised about how secure that system was. Did it have appropriate software backups, patches, so if hackers could get in, were there loopholes that they could get into the system? And now that she was clearly targeted, either intentionally, but certainly to the degree that it was a New York State resident from an obscure email address, um, to what degree did hackers further penetrate the system? And I think these are the questions we're going to be asking going forward.